Hello and welcome all. In this lecture, we shall create a movie class as model for the application. So let's flip over to the Blazor movie app. Now, first of all, I would like you to please verify the two NuGet packages, which are very essential because we'll be using Entity Framework Core for this application. So let's click, right click on the Blazor movie app and manage NuGet packages. So in the installed tab, browse, install and update in the install tab, make sure you have these two packages already available as uh, default. So Microsoft.EntityFramework.co.sql server. So it's the Microsoft SQL Server database provider for Entity Framework Core and Microsoft.EntityFramework.Core.Tools. So if you have them, that's fine. If you don't find them, then you can click on the browse and write and then um, look for the result and then click on install if it is not installed. All right. Now, next is in the tutorial today, as I have told that we'll be creating a model class. So I will a model movie class for creating the database. Okay. As the first step. So I will right click and add a folder, new folder, call this models. Okay. And then right click and add class call this class I'll call this class movie so movie class with the blank class is created for you now I'll start filling it so first of all will be the property uh, this uh, prop tab tab so it will introduce a shell of a public property so by default it is integers but Let's keep it at integer because this is the ID. Okay. And let's make it explicit. It's a key, primary key. So if I write key over here, it will come up with a squiggly line. Now there are some potential fixes. So I'll have to use this system dot component dot component model dot data annotations and it will go. All right. And then a few more public properties like uh, prop tap tap string title title for the movie because it's a movie database so I need a movie title and then prop tap tap and this will be the movie release date so it will be of type date time release date and the data type is date time all right and then a few more public string now the genre of the movie like it's comedy comedy um, adventure musical drama etc etc so public string genre genre you can say or prop tab tab uh, this will be the director name of director which will be another string and finally a run time so this will be left as integer because it's it will say tell you the running time of the movie in minutes running time all right so the movie class is created so in this lecture today we have created the movie class and added it to a models folder right